In this video, I'll guide you step-by-step -step to generating a fully functional Genero application using the Business Application Modeling tool in Genero Studio. The first step is to create a special project used for BAM projects. It's called a Managed Project. Managed projects automatically contain the additional build rules for creating the generated programs. Use the Studio main menu option File New. From the Design category, choose Managed Project to create a project for your application. You'll notice that the project structure has three predefined nodes to contain the files for your project. Application for the program and form files and any additional source code files, databases for the Genero database schema files, and library for any additional resource files. If I right click on the application node and select advanced properties from the menu, I'll see that the dependencies for the database and library nodes have been set ensuring that any files they contain will be included in the application. Next, I'm going to add an additional FGL profile file to my FGL profile environment variable list because this FGL profile file contains the configuration information to access the sample databases and I'm planning to use Office Store, one of the sample databases that comes installed with the product. I'm selecting environment variables in the pages list and add a user variable FGL profile by clicking on the green cross. This file is located in the document and settings area in the My Genero File Samples DS config directory. Now I'll save the project to a folder in my file system. Now that I have my project ready, I'm going to design the global flow of my application with the business application diagram by creating a new 4BA file. You can use the Studio Main Menu option File New from the Design category, Application Modeling, and choose Business Application Diagram to create a blank diagram. I want to create a simple application that is going to have a main form that calls a Zoom form and also calls a report. So I'm going to lay out my design with a program, a form, a Zoom form, and a report, since I know that we're going to have these components, at least in this application. I can come back and change or add to this diagram at any time. Now I'll set the relationship between the components by right-clicking and drawing out the arrows to show the relationships. My program will be calling the form, and the form will call both the Zoom form and the report. and you can organize the components on your diagram how you wish. The next step is to add the database schema from which this application will be based. The schema is extracted from your database. Here I'm pulling one that's already been extracted since I'm using the sample database and I'm looking for the Office Store schema. Or you could extract the schema using the wizard in Genero Studio under the database menu. And this would allow you to fill in the information to extract the schema from your data source. If I double click on the database schema, I'm brought into the Meta Schema Manager and the Meta Schema Manager shows me the database tables and columns and some properties and relationships. I can add additional metadata to this diagram, such as the default widget to be used when a field is used on a form. I also can make sure that there is a unique key marked for each table if that information was not gleaned from the database when the schema was created. Now I'm ready to implement the objects on my BA diagram. When I return to my BA diagram, I'm going to go ahead and save it and give it a name and save it to my application node.
Now I'll right click on the program icon and select Implement Program. When the Save As dialog appears, assign a name for the program file and save it to the application node. This file will be used to generate the source code for the main function of the program. Now I'll right click on the form icon and select Implement Form from Database to generate a form for the database table that I want this form to access. I'm going to select the Office Store Database and Account Table and the first 10 or so fields of the table from the table list. I'll finish and save the form to the project structure under the application node. Now you have two documents in your central work area, the Application Diagram, or 4BA, and the Form Definition, or 4FDM. I can go ahead and build and execute the program now, as nothing else is required. I don't have to implement the other objects on my diagram yet. I can come back and do that a little later. Now, as you can see, I have a fully functional application based on the account table in the Office Store database.